all animals. Another dog dead during travel. A man and his girlfriend were devastated when they found their dog that had been placed on a Delta flight had passed away during a layover. CNN reports that Michael De La Grazie and his girlfriend were traveling from Phoenix to Newark, New Jersey, and had decided to put their Pomeranian, Alejandro, on a plane. They planned to pick the pooch up at Newark Airport. There was a layover in Detroit where the eight-year-old dog was held in a cargo facility. Fox reports that Evan Ocean, De La Grazie's attorney, claims Alejandro was alive when he arrived in Detroit, but a little while afterward he was dead when someone went to check on him. CNN reports Delta officials say the pet was discovered in a cage with vomit and fluids. Ocean said the family is very upset and added that this is essentially their family member who died. To say they're upset is a gross understatement. Delta Airlines said in a statement, we know pets are an important member of the family and we are focused on the well-being of all animals we transport. Delta added that they're conducting a thorough review of the situation and are working with Alejandro's family to make sure this doesn't happen again. More dog stories right here. Poor doggy strangled to death by elevator. We all know that elevators in China like to eat people, but apparently they like to eat your little dogs too. This accident happened in Jiangsu province when a dog's owner got into an elevator without him. In surveillance footage obtained by the Changzhou Daily Post, an 80-year-old woman was seen walking her dog to an apartment elevator in Yuhuan district of Changzhou city. But when they got into the elevator, the dog turned around and walked out. The elevator's doors then closed and it began its ascent. The old woman pushed the alarm button for help, but to no avail. Technicians came to open the elevator doors, but the dog was dead. The elderly woman was physically unharmed, but emotionally scarred for the rest of her life. Local police told the newspaper that smaller thin objects like leashes and little dogs are difficult for elevators to detect. When a group of people enter an elevator, it's best to press and hold the open button until the entire group is inside, they say. Pet owner to press charges after her dog dies at a grooming store. Colby was a good boy. Yes, he was. But this poor doggy suffered an awful fate on Friday. Colby was essentially baked alive. Virginia resident Allison Marks dropped off her two-year-old golden retriever at a Petco grooming center in Chesterfield County on Friday. Colby was only supposed to get a quick wash, but as the hours wore on, Allison started wondering why she hadn't gotten a call. Unfortunately, when the call did come, it was bad news. The Petco store manager informed Allison that her beloved dog had been left in a drying cage for too long and had overheated and died. The drying cages are supposed to switch off automatically after 15 minutes, but somehow something went terribly wrong. A vet said Colby died of heat stroke. The store manager said Colby's groomer left early as she had to attend a graduation party, but it's unknown if human error or mechanical failure contributed to Colby's death. Allison said the shop staff were kind and sympathetic, however, she plans to pursue charges against the store in order to get justice for her beloved pet. What do you think? Unfortunate accident or criminal negligence? Man and his dog die after they get trapped in his dream car. An elderly Texas man and his dog died of apparent heat exhaustion Monday afternoon after an electronic malfunction kept them both trapped inside his car amid sweltering heat. James Rogers was a regular at the Waffle House in Port Arthur, but a recent visit took a tragic turn. When the 72-year-old and his puppy Leah got in his recently purchased 2007 Corvette, a vehicle he reportedly considered his dream car, a battery cable somehow came loose, not only preventing the car from starting, but also from allowing Rogers to open its electric powered doors, trapping them both inside. Monday's oppressive weather only made matters far, far worse, with temperatures in the sleepy town going as high as 92 degrees and humidity reaching 94 percent. Rogers unfortunately failed to locate the one mechanism that could have saved him, the manual release on the car's floorboard, right by the driver's side. He also accidentally left his cell phone inside the diner, and by the time the other diners realized it was his, it was already too late. MJ Ponzagrau, another Waffle House regular, made his way to the parking lot and tried to unlock the doors with little success. Ponzagrau said the two had already succumbed to heat exhaustion by the time he and the others arrived to help. None were aware of the manual release. Firefighters were later forced to break the window open and get Rogers and Leah out of the Corvette, but it was too late. 
Roger's daughter, Trisha Hernandez, says it breaks her heart that her father's dream car is what ended up taking away his life. Rogers leaves behind three children and five grandchildren. Heartwarming photo saves two dogs' lives. Puppies Kala and Kara were doing hard time at an Atlanta animal shelter and were on their way to death row until a cute picture of them went viral, leading to their rescue. These cute little canines had a nice life, but the time was nigh for them to join the other 1.2 million U.S. shelter dogs that are euthanized each year. However, an Angels Among Us pet rescue attendant had a plan. She took the cutest photo ever of two dogs about to be put to death in the hope that someone out there would come to their rescue. Some pooch-loving superheroes moved by the picture arrived exactly two hours and six minutes later to adopt the photogenic pups, sparing them from their death sentence. <laughs> if the picture alone didn't save these two, the accompanying caption alone might have done the trick as well. It read, <laughs> She's so brave and tells me it'll be okay no matter what happens. <laughs> she tells me to be brave too, but I don't know if I can be. Holy crap, now that's touching. One of the pup's new parents works as a vet, so clearly this isn't the first dog this unnamed hero has saved. But now, what on earth do we do with the other 1,999,999 pooches that need a home? Isn't this wee guy just the cutest? Meet Cheech. This little guy is a rescue dog at the City of Waller Animal Shelter in Texas. Some volunteers at the shelter initially believed this was Cheech snarling and were scared of him. But they soon found out that that's no snarl, that's an old-fashioned doggy smile. And that same smile has gone viral. Apparently, he can smile on command and is described as super sweet. And the good news is he's up for adoption. You can find out more about that in the link below.